Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to discuss exponential functions and their graphs. In our example, we're being asked to sketch f of x equals 2 to the x plus 3. We also have to find the intercepts, asymptotes, domain, and the range. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. We'll start by graphing the function 2 to the x. So if we let y be equal to 2 to the x, let's do a rough sketch of what that graph looks like. So here's the y-axis, and here is the x-axis. And the graph of y equals 2 to the x has a horizontal asymptote, I'll draw here in red, and it has the basic shape like this, it looks roughly like this. And it gets infinitely close to the asymptote and it goes up forever. So this is the graph of 2 to the x. And the y-intercept here is at 1. So this y-intercept is 0, 1. So whenever we add a number to the entire function, we're going to take our function and shift it up by 3. If we subtract from the function, we go down by 3. So now we're just going to take this graph and shift the entire graph up by 3. Here's the y-axis, and here's the x-axis. So x and y, good stuff. And we're going to shift the whole thing up. So that means we're actually going to shift the asymptote up. So because the asymptote is at 0, it's going to go up to y equals 3. So let's put three tick marks, 1, 2, 3, and let's sketch our horizontal asymptote here. And the actual graph itself is also going to go up by 3. So this ordered pair here is 0, 1. It's going to be at 0, 4. I'm going to put one more tick mark here. And let's draw the graph here. So it crosses through there. Then it just goes up like this. And again, it gets infinitely close to that asymptote. It's also exactly one higher. You see the distance between the asymptote and... The point on the graph is 1, so same thing here, it's a distance of 1, so that's an easier way to do it. That's a complete graph, that would be the answer for the sketch. As far as the intercept, we can write it down now. So the y-intercept, you can get it from the graph, it would be 0, 4. When x is 0, y is 4. If you wanted to get it from your function, you could do that as well. Let me just show you. You could plug in 0 you would get 2 to the 0 plus 3. Then f of 0, well, 2 to the 0 is 1, so you get 1 plus 3. So f of 0 is equal to 4. So your ordered pair is 0, 4. So not really necessary, but like sometimes your graph is off or maybe the problem is harder. Um, it's good to know how to find the y-intercept in other ways. So you can always plug in 0 to find your y-intercept. As far as the asymptote, it's this horizontal red line. It's horizontal, so it's called a horizontal asymptote. I'll abbreviate it with HA. And because it's a horizontal line, it's Y equals. In this case, it's Y equals 3. So that would be the horizontal asymptote. The domain is all of the inputs that give rise to outputs. In other words, everything you can plug in. There's two ways to do it. You can look at your function, f of x equals 2 to the x plus 3, and you can notice that you can plug in any value of x here. There's no issues. There's no funky square roots or divisions by 0. Everything is good, so the domain is all real numbers. Another way is to get it from the graph. So if you pick an x value on the graph, like say I pick this one, well, I get a y value. Or if I pick this x value, I get a y value. And if I pick an x value way over here, I'm going to get a y value way up there, probably off the screen. So no matter what x value I pick, I get a y value. So I can pick any x value and get a y value. Therefore, every number is an element in the domain. So the domain would be negative infinity to infinity. The range is where it gets interesting. So the range is all the possible y values. So in this case, the smallest possible y value, well, there isn't one because it gets infinitely close to 3. So what you do is you put a parentheses 3, because it gets infinitely close. It never touches it because there's an asymptote. 
And then he goes up forever, so to infinity. So it's from the bottom up. The range would be from three to infinity. Hopefully this video has helped you. There's a lot of information in this video. And hopefully you've learned some math. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Till next time, good luck. Take care.